hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we really love and appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country hmm we know what's been trending in the country within the last couple of days. Hashtag and SAGS. Very, very interesting. And it's so interesting to know that this is a time that Nigerians came united. If you look around, a lot of persons lended their voice regardless of their uh, status and their political um, status and all of that. They lended their voice to join in this fight against police brutality. That is quite uh, uh, commendable and is something worthy of note. Uh, we, we can't even count them. A lot of activists, we know uh, um, Aisha. Aisha Yusufu joined in. Um, Atiku Abubakar lended his voice. Even the governor of River State, Naysom Wike, spoke against the SARS that they have to be, either they are reformed or something is done, done about this uh, um, brutality towards uh, um, civilians. The cry of the people really went high as uh, um, Nigerians took this protest in different levels, peaceful protests though and they took it um, in different levels all across the country, different states all around and uh, we saw that um, the news broke out today that the Inspector General of Police actually bowed to the pressure and um, gave in and actually uh, um, suspended, I beg your pardon, not suspend, actually ended SARS. Uh, SARS has been wiped off. But what is interesting to note right now, I don't know if anyone has been asking what is going to happen to SARS. Because these SARS, they are, they are police force, they are part of the police force, but they were just drafted into that uh, uh, um, special anti-robbery uh, uh, um, squad. But what is going to happen to them, uh, the Inspector General of Police has revealed what will happen to them. We'll find out in a moment. Hope they are not going to be forming. It's just the name. Hope it's not the name that is just changing. Because the idea behind all of this is for them to have this orientation that um, civilians are not meant to be brutalized. Even if they change the name and they form another outfit and that outfit begins to carry out the same activity that the SARS um, were carrying out. We can see that the, the essence of all of this has been defeated. We do want to hope and believe that the message that Nigerians have been trying to pass out is against po police brutality. So it's not really it's not really targeted at SARS. If you, if you think of it where I'm coming from, we know SARS they've been very brutal. But what if um what and uh, the, the the police force what they are trying to do is just change the name and they still carry on with the same activities, the same brutality, the same harassment, and and even um up to uh, taking and uh, taking away the lives of uh, uh, uh innocent citizens. What about that? Let's find out um what um the Inspector General of Police has stated that would happen uh to SARS officers. We'll bring you all of the details shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and get all of the details. They won't be sacked. This is what Inspector General of Police said will happen to SARS officers. Today, Nigerians in the country and outside the country are happy about the good news of scrapping of SARS, the police unit that has done more harm than good to the citizens of Nigeria. Before now, the SARS operatives are known for various evil acts, which are crowned by killing of innocent people, and then Nigerians took it up, and this time around they did it with all they have, with support from artists from both foreign and in Nigeria. Nigerians won and today, the Inspector General of Police, Adamu, announced the disbandment of SARS. However, some people are opined that the officers will be sacked. However, in the official letter released by the Inspector General of Police, shows what will be done to the SARS officers. Firstly, the Inspector General of Police has dissolved the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. Across all the 36 states, command and federal capital territory with immediate effect. Secondly, all officers and men serving in the unit will be redeployed to other police command formation and units. Thirdly, a new policing arrangement 
for tracking the offenses of anti-robbery and other violent crimes will be unveiled to the public soon. Fourthly, a citizen and strategic stakeholder forum will be launched to provide an avenue for citizens to regularly interfere and advise the police authority on issues touching on the general public. Fifthly, to deal with the report of crimes committed against citizens, an investigative team will be constituted, which will include civil society organization and culprits will be punished. Wow, quite interesting. So these were part of the things um, that the Inspector General of Police um, stated um, that will be done, that uh, um, they are going to be forming um, a new body. Like I stated, let it not be that uh, um, it's just an avenue to create, just to change the name and they are not um, reformed. They still carry out uh, with the same activities. Anyway, let's carry on with the news. In the information above, the number two states it clearly that all officers serving in the unit with SARS unit of the police force will be redeployed to other police command. This clearly means that the officers won't be sacked they will simply be transferred to other units which functions as not that of SARS operatives. This as well is better. As we all know, some of them are also good and so it won't be like taking their job from them. Yeah, guys, we really don't, um, it's not like we pray that they should be sacked. We don't want them to be sacked, but it's just the way they carry out their duties. That is the cry that Nigerians were raising, that there should be a reform. Something should be done. They should be reoriented how they relate, how they deal with citizens, how they uh, uh, um, claim to deal with crime. And the shocking thing is that most of the persons they've harassed, they're innocent people. If they're even criminals, it's a different case, not criminals, innocent citizens. So um, it's very clear right now that the SARS operatives, they will not be sacked. They are only just going to be redeployed. But them being redeployed, have they been reoriented, re-educated on how to deal with civilians? That is the most important thing that um, I think the Inspector General of Police should also um, get involved in. It's something that um, they should also look into. And they've stated that uh, anti-robbery squad, they are going to form a new outfit. It's going to be unveiled. Forming the new active, let it not be that um, they will carry on with the same thing that led to the scrapping of SARS. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.